Hi, welcome to our social commerce and life selling online course. My name is Alex, I'm the founder of Flux Panda, and in this course, I'm going to take you through the basics of social commerce, how you can create life selling events, how you promote them, how you plan them, and how you can use Flux Panda to get the most out of it. In this first lesson, we're going to explore what is social commerce and what is life selling. And we're also going to take a look at what it's not. Social commerce essentially is the way on how you can sell products online, predominantly through the use of social media. So we've all probably, I guess, bought something on social media before that we saw on like an Instagram post, on a Facebook story or Facebook shop, who knows. And that's the whole concept essentially. It's about like using social media to promote products, but creating a seamless experience for people to purchase them. And as we know, a lot of the social media platforms right now, they're moving quite heavily into this. So we have Instagram shops and Facebook shops and TikTok shops and whatever shops. And everyone enables you or customers to see content. And then if they like the content or the product in the content, they can purchase it. So this is essentially what social commerce is all about. It's about like using social media to promote products. Now there is a very, um, let's say, blunt way of doing it, which is like having some sort of a product promotion, an ad that you can like push out and people can click on it and purchase. But then there is also, of course, the use of content creators and influencers um, and potentially, you know, live streaming. And that's a little bit the area that we're going to focus more on, right? We're going to focus more on the live streaming and live selling part of social commerce. So not so much only on like pushing out the product using content itself, static content, but more about like live streaming and engagement of customers. And what does this really mean and how do we do that? Now, the overall concept here, of course, is to reach more customers by using many different platforms. And I think that's where there is a lot of, you know, things are happening right now in the market where we have, as I mentioned, like different platforms that we can use, right? So we can sell on Facebook or we can sell on Instagram or we can sell on, you know, through messengers. We can sell, of course, on our own e-commerce store. But like, how do we bring all these things together? How do we get the most out of our social commerce efforts in order to reach the most customers? And one of the concepts that we will touch on is for sure live selling and how you can use all these different platforms together in order to attract the most people onto your content and engage with them and introduce your product and convert. That's the most important thing because we want to sell. So what is live selling? So as mentioned, social commerce is the whole thing, right? So everything like social media, selling products and so forth. But live selling essentially is like real time selling. And I think as the name says, it's life, right? But it's about selling. It's not a marketing tool, it's selling. It's essentially engaging with your audience in real time, answering their questions, showing them the product and reacting and having a real communication with the audience. So it's not so much like a keynote where you just like broadcast out, you know, to like the world and like have people seeing it but it's really more about like interacting and reacting to the audience itself, selling. And the whole thing started relatively early on, right? So like we, you all know like the home shopping networks and you know, the different types of formats that we had before, but what really changed over the years is the introduction of streaming technology. And you know, we know that there is a lot of streaming happening right now, especially in the gaming world, you know, Twitch, like people are streaming their games, people watch it, but it's not only related to, to games or something like that. It's like literally like any content that you can broadcast and interact with the audience. And I think the first question that we need to ask ourselves, why would someone watch someone else playing a game or someone else like sitting in a bathtub, you know, all day long and, you know, consuming this content, right? It's not like a movie that's like produced and has a story to it, right? But it's really about the fact that those people engage and react to their audience. And that's really what live selling is all about. And it's a new form because even if you look at something like a QVC or home shopping network, 
it was a broadcast, right? And people maybe can dial in and you can have maybe like, you know, someone on the phone and interacting with it. But this is the, the early forms of doing that, right? It's about reacting to the audience and answering their questions. And now with the technology of streaming, this becomes way more real time, way more engaging and way more active on how you can deal and interact with the audience itself. And that's really what's happening right now, right? So there is a lot of new ways on doing it. Like Amazon has live streaming, TikTok has live streaming, Alibaba has Taobao Live, um, China obviously a huge success on how to use live streaming in order to sell products. And what you will see over time is that there is a huge difference between actually interacting with people through live stream versus selling to them. And there are a lot of cases where like celebrities are started, you know, going on live stream and have like sold no products or like very little products. And then you have like key opinion leaders, they're selling millions and billions worth of products because those people have learned how to actually engage and interact with the audience. They have built a community. They have built a following of shoppers that buy from them. And this goes back to the concept of selling, right? It's about selling to the audience it's about interacting with them and it's about you know listening to their questions as i mentioned earlier social commerce and live selling is not a marketing tool it's a sales tool because essentially that's what you want to do you want to sell but also the medium itself it's not about marketing it's about selling and especially when we talk about live selling it is about sales you want to speak engage with the ideally individual customer in order to make a purchase. And that's the beauty of it because it's the only format that allows you to do so. You have the chat where people can ask questions, you can respond to the chat, you can invite them over into a one-on-one -on -one session with an agent, you can actually speak to them you know, in real time, you can throw coupons at them, you can like have competitions, games, whatever you want, right? So it's a real, interaction with real people in real time that you can use to demonstrate your products and sell and of course there is an aspect of marketing it's always sales and marketing right but it's really important to understand this it's not a presentation where you go on camera like literally what i'm doing right now this is not really selling right so this is like you know an on-demand presentation um, but this is about engagement and this is really important. So that's why you have to use the tools that live selling brings you, which is the real-time interaction, chatting, and all the you know tools that you have with it. And we're going to go into more details alongside this course. So let's take a look at why you would want to create your own live selling setup. As mentioned, you can sell live on social networks like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and so forth. But why would you want to create your own setup? Well, there are a couple of good reasons to do that. First of all, when you create your own setup, you can actually stream directly from your website, but at the same time, using software like Flux Panda, you can also stream on the social networks, and not just one, but all of them, right? So you live on your website, you live on Facebook, live on Instagram, live on TikTok, wherever you want. Now, the good thing is that through this approach, you will guide people back onto your website and not only can you show them the product that you have planned for your life, they also get exposed to other products, right? So that's one of the benefits and that's why you can make use of your overall online catalog and you can react quickly to like, you know, requests and, you know, things that people ask. So you can just like guide them to like a product page if you want. Now, the other thing is that you can capture leads, right? And as mentioned, like from all these different sources, you can like capture leads into your platform, you can build your own shopping community, and you can build your own database. And that leads us to the data ownership, where you are in control on how data of your customers is used, and how you want to use it, right? And of course, you're going to use it in the right way. But you are in control and you're not like, um, you know, locked in to some, you know, advertising schemes or something like that, where you build another community using your efforts. You build your own community, right? And I think that's a big thing to consider. Um, and, you know, happy customers, loyal customers, you know, it's a good way to continue selling. Um, the other thing is that you have no limitations in terms of how many or what products you want to show, right? So you can literally like have your whole online store catalog in the live. You can like pull products in in real time as you wish. 
and that's another great benefit so kind of like you know making your entire inventory available you know as and when you need it and you don't have to like restrict yourself um, there is of course the um, you know a, a ability for you to like take this content that you create during the life and repurpose it you know as a shoppable video you can make clips you can then create marketing content from the sales content which is also quite nice and of course the other thing is that like you can create a lot of authenticity and show the products create confidence you know people can explore it can see it in real time and you know again this is maybe something that you could also do on a single platform somewhere else but like there is a good reason for you to have like a nice setup where you can bring those things together so these are some of the benefits of why live selling and having your own setup makes a lot of sense right you are in control of the data you are in control on like how you sell you are in control of the checkout process and you receive the orders in the way that you are used to and you don't receive them in any you know more complex or different way